Hello Celebrity Apprentice fans, AI Champ 8 here with your sort of delayed uh, Celebrity Apprentice finale review. So now in this task we were down to the final two, Trace versus Pen. Very interesting finale. So overall basically we had basically we had Trace come out as the, win the winner of this final task and overall the winner of Celebrity Apprentice All-Stars. Do I agree with it? Yeah, like honestly, I think either should have won, and you know what? Overall, pretty good ending to the season. Uh, let's look at basically just the just the specific areas this final ta of this final task, like who won each area. Like first, let's start with the money raised. Like, you gotta hand it to these guys. They really raised a lot of money. I think Trace raised something like $600,000, and Penn maybe raised like 500000 Basically, over $1.1 million. You gotta hand it to them. That's pretty good. So, to slam it out like that in the final task, way to end the season, I think, let's look back at what Trace actually made overall for his charity, because that's the number that stunned me the most. And that was $1,524,072. Holy crap. Oh my god. That is amazing. I think that's the most that anybody's ever made. Like, let's look down there, because I think it said something about that. Trace is now Trace is now the show's all-time top earner, beating out John Rich's performance from Celebrity Apprentice 4. Yep. And that's very interesting, yeah. But also Penn definitely put up a fight because Penn won uh, the part where he had where he had his ice cream flavor sold the most. The magic swirl. The swirl. And got an extra hundred thousand from Walgreens. But overall, I gotta agree to Trace One. I think you gotta hand the fact that Penn was uh, crazy enough after his last season on the show to to post negative negative comments in his book about Celebrity Apprentice and Donald Trump. Big no no, Penn. Big no no. Oh my God. And, to, and then to have to come back this season after doing that, oh my god, Penn, why did you do that? Ay ay ay. That was stupid. Because you never know what's going to happen, and so he came back this season with that chip on his shoulder. I think that definitely put him at a disadvantage going against Trace in the final two, because you look at the fact that in, even in an overall business world anything that you say can definitely be used in that in that sort of scenario and the fact that he was unprofessional with those comments despite the fact that he pro despite the fact that he apparently apologized it doesn't take out the fact that that, that he did that so you want someone to win that can really keep a civil head, a civil and calm head there, and Trace obviously kept that throughout the competition. Now let's look at some things that happened in the finale. Okay, where's my arrow? Sorry, phone ringing. Now continue. Um, so some things that happened in the finale. Let's look at the first thing. About uh, Trump giving correction. Now we continue because I had to pause again. All right, so Trump gave Latoya, Dennis, and Gary twenty thousand each for their charity because they won no money. It was definitely a good reward for for helping Penn and Trace in the final task. You look at the you look at that and it's like okay, there we go. That's something. If anything, yeah, it was pretty justified because it's almost like their payment for working. Pretty nice salary, twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, 
but overall it was good because now everybody basically has made money in their time in their two times on Celebrity Apprentice, unfortunately, except for Claudia. I'm sure some kind of some kind of uh, accommodations will be made there by Donald Trump. He'll probably give some money for her charity. <laughs> yeah, at some point, probably not shown on camera, but probably on, at some point. And then we have a big donation, which was given to Lil John, because in his great belief in his cause against diabetes which led to Lil Jon's mother's death after the filming of the season. And it's like, yeah, it made a lot of sense. You know what? When you have that kind of thing happen, uh, it's, always, it's always gracious to give that kind of donation to that kind of cause. But it's interesting. It's like... Um, it was after the filming of the, if it was after the filming of the season then because he was talking about it a lot during the confessionals during the season so I don't know if the confessionals are fil are after the filming or anything I don't know it's a little weird but still nonetheless it's a great way to, it's a great way to come off the show with that kind of donation to that charity uh, we found that Brett wasn't present at the live reunion as he was attending his his daughter's thirteenth birthday party, yeah. I don't know. Dennis Dennis shouldn't be making comments because Dennis did make a comment that it wasn't good that Brett wasn't there. Like, come on, dude! It's his thir it's his thirteen year old's birthday party. Come on, he's gonna be, is he is he honestly gonna go to Celebrity Apprentice instead of that? Come on, man. Dennis, don't make stupid comments here. And then we got the heated argument between Latoya Jackson and Omarosa. One thing I can definitely say, thank God Gary was sitting between those two. Because <laughs> honestly, I think that real it really would... I think it would have come to blows, actually. It really would have, because I think they were, it was pretty heated. Anybody that hasn't watched the episode, watch it because it was pretty heated. But overall, after all this, yep, Trace won. And it's been an interesting season. And hopefully there's going to be another season next year. So I hope you enjoyed the finale. And have a good one.